हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू योर ऑन यूट्यूब चैनल सिविल इंजीनियर इन ए सी आई थ्री वन एट स्ट्रक्चरल डिजाइन मेथड वी ओपनली यूज स्ट्रेंथ रिडक्शन फैक्टर पाई यू विल हैव डेफिनेटली नोटिस डेट स्ट्रेंथ रिडक्शन फैक्टर फॉर वीम एस्केप्ट इज लार्जर एज कंपेयर टू दैट ऑफ कालम इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वाई इज अ लोअर स्ट्रेंथ रिडक्शन फैक्टर पाई यूज फॉर कालम दिन अ बीम so watch the video full and do not forget to like this video let's start today's discussion first we will discuss what is strength reduction factor the strength reduction factor or pi is used in the aci design method to reduce the estimated strength of the material this strength reduction factor pi and load factors are used in aci design method in order to include factor of safety in the design of material for beam its value is generally taken as 0.90 while for column the value of the strength reduction factor is 0.65 for tight column and 0.75 for spiral column the detailed video about tight and spiral column is already uploaded in the channel you can watch that by clicking this i card or visiting the link given in the description box now to know why the strength reduction factor for beam is kept larger than that of the column first we will discuss the flavor pattern of beam and column we know that beams are primarily moment resistant we know that beams are primarily moment resistant member or plexural member while columns are mainly subjected to axial loading or you can say it axial compression loading the column is a compression control member while the beam is tension control member the flavor pattern of the column is brittle one while the flavor pattern of the beam is ductile and we know that brittle flavor is abrupt a while ductile flavor gives a warning and involves plastic deformation or you can say that brittle flavor is more dangerous as compared to ductile flavor here you can see that in ductile flavor the cone formation occurs and the flavor includes plastic deformation while for brittle material no cone formation occur and the flavor is abrupt after discussing the flavor pattern of column and beam now we can understand why is a lower strength reduction factor pi used for column then a beam as we have discussed the flavor of column is brittle and column brittle flavor is more critical than that ductile beam flavor or you can say that brittle flavor is more dangerous than ductile flavor as in beams flexural flavor occur flexural flavor is well understood and flexural strength can be calculated accurately while column axial compression result in complex stresses which can be determined by interaction diagrams and are not well understood like the flexural flavor of beam so due to these reason strength reduction factor pi for the beam is kept more which is generally kept as 0.90 and for column it is kept less for tight column its value is 0.65 and for spiral column its value is 0.75 the reason for this less value of strength reduction factor is that the column flavor is brittle one and the beam flavor is ductile one it was all for today thank you very much for watching the video full for more updated videos about civil engineering please keep in touch and if you have not subscribed the channel yet please subscribe the channel by clicking the subscribe button along with bell icon to receive the notification of upcoming videos and please do not forget to like this video thank you very much